Hello guys, it's Lackout here, and today we are here um, with the UCA Week 2 battle against Black Booted Eel and Iowa City Mian Shao. And like we uh, went over in the team builder, we have the Sand Core, and we are trying to bait the Seva Aura to use the close combat on our Chopple Berry uh, Excadrill. And then we have Colpool Berry Mew and Colpool Berry. What you might call it? Frost Lash. Frost Lash. That's, that's that. Um, and they are meant to be bait for Mega Mobile, Weevil, and Drapion. And as you can see, they only brought the Drapion. Which I'm really surprised. I actually didn't think they would bring Radily. Uh, like at all. Um, Stami, I knew. Glysko, I knew. Serara, I knew. And Drapion, pretty much, I knew. But I thought that Mobile would have been great um, on here, but I guess no. So, um, let's start, um, and I'm sorry that this ain't in the uh, live recording, I have some uh, own reasons to not do the li live recording here for this week, yeah, and let's go with the battle, and the battle starts off me leading Excadrill of course, because I think the Zara lead is going to happen, and Excadrill is going to eat the close combat, which is very good, very good, and they take the bait and we earthquake them back with the uh, chopper buried excrement. And that happened turn one, which I was hoping uh, when building to happen. This is great. They're going to take Lysko, which is obvious. Excrement check. We go into our Mew. Mew has the ice beam and the Toxicus, which is uh, yikes, kind of. Because the synchronize really doesn't work for the Glysko. Um And here, <laughs> the jelly set without jolly nasty blood. Yeah, great. A great new set, boy. <laughs> the jelly set comes and we earth power it, and it does miserable, miserable 28% on the jelly set, sadly. Um, even after the nasty blood boost. And we take a hex. They have a great prep in this hex. Uh, we go into the our frostless because it scares this thing out. We're just gonna shadow... No, we're gonna spike. Spike, of course. Because I knew that Shelly wouldn't uh, stay in. And our uh, Arcanine can handle the Cradley pretty well. And they go into their Shelly again, taking the uh, spike damage on entry. And we will always beat. Uh, which is good, because I don't believe we had Toxic on uh, this team. So that's good. Uh, they... Get recover up, we roll it out, which is kinda sad. Gradually comes out, and I'm going to into my theta because this this can now set up on this Gradually because Gradually ain't going to be not ain't going to be doing nothing to our theta here, and we we just straight up dragon dance just for this army. Um, sadly, we don't outspeed it after one dragon dance. I sh here I should have um, I'm going to be crunching, but I definitely should have made it um, use dragon dance because uh, we would be able to sweep completely. Nobody would leave a hit, and nobody would be outspeeding this man. But I made a misplay and crunched it and let let it drop, and now we ice punch on this gradually while gradually is going to kick a drain, and it does doesn't do anything to us. And we just ice punch again. And we are looking mighty fine. Only problem is that our Tita, which is um, one of our best ways to kill uh, Glysko and Jellison, is going to drop uh, very soon because of uh, reasons. Because we don't have enough speed for Max Speed Drapion after plus one. Definitely a missed rep from my part. And I definitely could have switched on to like Ripon B there because the earthquake was coming. Uh, because the possibility of poison jab and knock up not killing. Uh, they switch on the onto the Glysko here on our Arcanine. Our Arcanine can take a couple of hits from Glysko. Um so I'm going to be staying in. I believe it's does like only 48%. And yeah. So we can actually morning sun it up. But they have better recovery in Roost and Toxic Op um Toxic op recovery. They are missing uh, one toxic, I believe. 
they indeed missed one toxic and then they earthquake our Arcanine. Arcanine here, which is kinda. We can see it does only 45%. And we crit them with the flamethrower. Uh, which is um, normal that uh, either of us would be critting here because this kind of Stalva at this moment. I'm, I'm thinking here that I can actually stall Glysko out of roosts and EQs with my Arcanine if it's not uh, getting toxic. And if they would use the turn toxicing us, we would be killing it next turn. So that's great because Glysko doesn't have protect at, as it seems they have roost, they have toxic, they have EQ, and I believe they had something else on it. Why don't I remember what the move was? Have they showed all the moves? No, Toxic Roost Earthquake. They haven't uh, shown all the moves, but I believe it's not going to be to protect the Toxicus, um, which is now bad, kind of bad, because I, I think I'm missing on the KO barely, because they healed 12% on the Toxic Op, and they go into 40, 13%. So they go into 46, and we did about 40. 41 is like about max roll. So that's... Eesh. We go hard for Slash because I believe they are going to be roosting here and they don't want to risk the crit. And this, of course, would bring in Jellicent. And I'm completely using Ice Beam because if this um, Glysko decides to stay in or Drabian comes in, the Ice Beam is enough to kill them. And as the damage showed on Drabian, I believe, um, we know that it's banded on someone. Which, which man did take a hit from this? Some man did take a hit from Dragbeon and I um, got the info that it indeed is banded. If I remember correctly. I think that that's how it went. They go into the Shelly sent um, 76%. Um, I definitely could use Shadow Ball, but I, 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 I used the Shadow Ball. I thought I would be swipping, swapping here. We Shadow Ball do the 40%. It doesn't really do a lot and they recover up. Um, really good play on uh, scouting out what I'm going to do. So they pretty much recovered 3% health here um, after our Shadow Ball and Burn damage with the recover. But the Cursed Body comes into play. Yeah, this was the reason I'm going to be swapping out soonish. Uh, definitely Cursed Body sucks. They aren't uh, Water Absorb. Um, Probably not predicting that Tentacruel would be coming to this game because of Star, Miklaisko, and Sarah Aura and such. Which is really good uh, prep, um, definitely. And we go into our Rybombi, because Rybombi is Manda's case, then with Quiver, Quiver Dance Roost set. If I would be Quiver Dancing here, I would uh, probably win the game. But I'm going to just Moon Blast, because I know they are going to be attacking. They can't risk their Quiver quiver dance here so they attack us and they uh, are going to be down hp here and our frostless actually can kill this uh jellicent now with the with the shadow ball which is exactly what i wanted i go into my frostless it's going to be shadow balling we get the kill on jellicent which was hardest man here to kill and uh, Frostless def um, cleans the game up because nobody outspeeds it and Ice Beam will kill both Drapion and Glysko here. And I don't have to even uh, resort to any sacking on our Extra Drill or Arcanine. We just Ice Beam. If they would be specially defensive, they probably wouldn't die. And our. Our. our they, w they probably wouldn't roost, of course, they would attack me, kill me, and then my Arcanine would come in, and then they would... I believe our Arcanine outsped the Glysko. I need to see this. No, actually, no, the Glysko outsped, uh, outsped our um, Arcanine, so I should have then gone to Eskdrill to finish them off. Either way, um, the game was there in my grasps, and I'm happy that I took it, and Frostless being the MVP of the match. If I had used, used another D, DD on the Stami with my Tita, uh, I definitely would have won right there, because I would have had enough firepower to kill every single man on their team. I just thought that um, I, that one man would be scarfed. I'm not sure what Zera Aura was, so that could have been the scarf 
to try to outspeed my Escadrille in sand. Because that's exactly why... What, what was also reason for me to use Chapelberry on it. Because Seraura was only man that could outspeed uh, Ser um, the Escadrille on sand. So that's that, and the Chapelberry would protect me from that, and I would EQ it anyways. So yeah, good games for Blackwood and Eel. I believe the match would ha could have gone uh, pretty much to any... Like, to both of us at the end, depending on what moves we went for and what turn. Um, but I believe if I had used another D Dragon Dance, you wouldn't have had any uh, switchings to that anymore. Because of the plus two, plus two, and no man outspeeding it. Out of the Sarah went down. Definitely a good game, the Chillison, but it was a huge problem for me. Um, pretty much just of because of... Mew, uh, Miss Eevee's, which is... Ugh, hopefully that doesn't happen again. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for watching, and we will see you guys next week for more UCA and APA. See ya.